everyone this is the next video in our series about pivotal cloud foundry tutorials previous videos we have pushed the simple uh, hello world application using cf push we have also looked into the scaling of the application how to do that okay we are going to talk about logging how we can see the logs that we have put in our applications logging is also pretty much important right and whenever topic of logging comes i always tell a story and it goes like this you have developed an application right and it is in production so the real time user is using that application and he is facing some issues uh, for example he is performing some transaction that is not happening and he is getting some weird uh, kind of error messages on the web page and uh, what he does next uh, he approaches the production support people right uh, the customer support people and what customer support people does he approaches the production support people uh, which is taking care of the maintenance of the application that you have provided right and that person the maintenance person logs the bug reports the same thing to the quality engineering team for the that who has qualified who has marked that application who has tested that application right and that team is analyzing and as per the analysis he is approaching to the developer the core developer that has done the development of that right and the quality person team and the developer person team is also looking into the error messages that the user had sent uh, and always error messages are not sufficient uh, to see the error in detail right and the, all the logging information all the log traces that you have put in your application which is getting printed on the back end right that is the that is the your friend which can help you to dig the root cause right so logging plays very important role and in modern software development industry where everything is in distributed environment logging in itself becomes a analysis tool right and it is a kind of event which can help you in resolving the issues in pretty quick time right so that's about the story so let's see how pcf is organizing the logs and uh, putting that information for us right so logri logrigator is the tool which takes care of the logging and it has four things timestamp log type and channel from where it is coming and the actual message right timing log type it can be anything channel this and message actual thing that is there right and there can be different kinds of logs tailing logs command for that is this we are going to see this in a while in real time dumping logs the recent logs that is going on you can see with this command and these are the filtering logs right so this is the name of the app that you have to give right and this is the recent tag that you have to give uh, i have done mistake it should be double hyphen here sorry for the mistake right and this is the filtering command if you are on unix machine or you are using git git bash you can use the grep but you if you are on windows you have to use find str to filter the one, right so let's go ahead and see this in action right and before going that this is the official um, documentation for the uh, log right you can see all the details here log types and their messages and if i talk about the log types it is the api when you will see the log you will see this api information right so what is the meaning of this users make api calls to request changes in app state so it is about that and other things we get the stz type the diego cell or droplet execution agents and these are the other keywords and the actors involved in running your application like right? diego cells droplets and all these things so in future videos i'm going to talk about all of this right and we have rtr also we will see these kind of jipkin traces we will see this also lgr we will see we will see app also here right ssh we will see we will see cell and these are the system logs that pcf is generating for us right so let's go ahead and see so i am going to take the 
I'm going to take help the previous app that we have posted CF scaling and let me show you the source code for that we have two endpoints right hello and IP address and I have logged information when we are getting the hit on hello we are printing this log and when we are getting an IP address we are hitting this log so sequentially I am going to call both the endpoints and see the same thing in the log right so first go to this is the IP address endpoint right I am refreshing this making few calls right and second make call to hello endpoint also right let's go ahead and see uh, from the command line how we can visualize the logs right so this is the page cf first see the details of the apps oh, cf apps these are all apps that are available and one is running that is here so i'm going to get the logs of this scaling app so it is going to give me the all the logs that is available with it right retrieving the logs this is retrieving the logs in the meantime uh, let me show you how we can see the log details from the dashboard right so this is the app that is here scaling app and if you see on the left side we have different options right we have here logs click here so we can see the state of the app and we have we can see the logs right cell app that just we saw what kind of logs it is coming app and api cell all these things we can get so startup logs is here right we can see all kind of logs so so let's see what kind of logs it had so this is jumbled right all other information is coming also here let's see uh, our application log if, if that we are getting here or not so let's hit it again so this is the startup log basically so just refresh it again so to fetch the real time logs we have to click here tail logs right so so that we can get the real time logs yeah it is here got hit on hello and got hit on hello we are getting the application logs here right so you can see all the logs here got hit on ip address so this is the dashboard from where you can see the logs and otherwise you can uh, hit the this line also you can search for that and you can get all the logs right at one place let's see the cli how it is responding so it is not giving the so let's hit some endpoint so i'm hitting it again and again and see so actually this command is for uh, when you have entered this cf log scaling app and then you will uh, when you will hit the endpoint it will only retrieve that so the logs that is already there it is not going to fetch that but the real time log for the real time log it is there right so uh, we are getting the logs here right so that is it so let me come out from here and let me filter the log here right so these are all details the system logs i do not want i want the logs that we have added in our application and i know the keyword uh, how to fetch that so i can do that right scaling app and the command for that as you're on windows machine so for filtering we have come on this find str and keyword got i'm entering here so let me no there is problem in command not find str so again it is not going to work because it is uh, cf logs is the command to fetch the real time uh, real time logs that the, it is getting right so to get the logs that is available with the system we have to put the recent right so what is the recent logs that is appended into the system so we can get that from here so so what the stored log that is stored with the uh, pcf we can get that log from this uh, from this command right uh, by adding this recent command recent option right so we are getting only 
uh, which line have this got right so we are getting all the logs so this way we can filter and we can we can reduce the surface our surface uh, where to look for the logs right so this is all about the logging that we can do if you see any issue put that in the comment section i will happy to help you out right want to see other videos you can follow the this channel playlist you can watch this and also you can go to the green learner page where you can find all the source code and topics in details right so i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye